seen He trusts no one, the streets are mean But his world that's called Lahore Is what his freedom means and more The woman who brought up the boy Around his neck she put a toy An amulet to help him find the truth But it's hiding in the lies And so he wanders the endless road The barefoot boy called Kim He goes into the sunset And follows the dream that he has Knowing he must believe There is someone who wants to reveal All the truth that he needs Until the day that he finally During the journey to the school of St. Severio, Kim diverts the carriage towards the jungle. The prank ends badly when Julian is captured by bandits. Kim manages to rescue him and confesses to the prank, leaving Julian filled with contempt. Exactly 100 years ago in 1789, 50 boys answered the question I'm going to ask you now. Gentlemen, stand when you know the answer. Do you know what the three Ds stand for? Duty, discipline, decorum. Exactly right. Exclusive selection and a fervent devotion to the three Ds make St. Saverio one of the best colleges in all India. There's no place for second rate in this school. Always remember that you are British and that one day after you have passed your exams, you will rule over the natives fulfilling your destiny and take your rightful place as the new leading class of India. Hankinson. Present. Lonsdale. Present. McLean. Present. Mix. Present, sir. O'Hara. O'Hara? <laughs> Who is this O'Hara? Does anyone know him? Huh? Oh, that's me. O'Hara, the correct response is present. Maybe he responds only to his Indian name. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough of that. Parker. Present! Math requires extreme discipline. Whoever does not turn in their assignments on time will be punished. In class, I want maximum concentration. No one will be allowed to interrupt the lesson. Oh, no. Ah, that's enough, O'Hara. You're not here to be horsing around. Rex, Regis, Regal, Regum, O'Hara, that pen is for calligraphy and not for poking holes in paper, understand? Water is composed of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Chemically defined by the formula H2O, it is the most diffused substance on our planet. O'Hara! Huh? This classroom is not a bedroom. Wake up! Hmm. Oh. I was better off in the orphanage. At least I didn't have to study. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hmm. Listen, I know that you're angry with me. Bad luck put us in the same room, but I don't want to be stuck with only having a cricket to talk to the whole year. I'm sorry, my friend. Look who we have here, the strange couple. What do you want? Hey, Blondie, don't you know you shouldn't bring servants <laughs> into the room? What? I... Okay, we'll make an exception, but I have a little job for your servant. Here, I want them clean by tomorrow, and I want them shining like a star, get me? Let's go, guys. <laughs> Thanks for defending me, Julian. So, are you gonna clean them? I don't think so, but I think I know a way to put them to really good use. So, you taught in London before coming to India, yes, sir. What was it exactly that made you come down here, Professor Keaton? My passion for India, sir. I find it a fascinating place. It surely is. But do not forget that we are here to assert our culture and not for the pursuit of personal gain. Huh? Huh. Who dared to do this? Huh? I see you up there huh? and you're in terrible trouble, huh? rascal. I want you in my office right away. A serious offense. Serious! It's all my fault, sir. My roommate had nothing to do with it. Aren't you Kim O'Hara, the boy Colonel Creighton recommended to come to this school? Y yes sir I doubt that the Colonel would be proud of you. May I know why you chose to throw those boots out the window? A student wanted me to clean them. Who? I don't know his name. Describe him. Is he in your class? I don't know. I don't remember his face well. Oh, you don't want to be a spy. Well, we have a tough guy here. Put out your hands on the desk. 
Huh? Did you hear me? <sighs> Do you know how to count up to three, O'Hara? Yes, sir. Begin. One. Mm. Go on, O'Hara. Two. Mm. Three. Mm. Duty, <clears throat> discipline, decorum. Another infraction of the rules, O'Hara, and I'll throw you out of the mm. college. Do you understand? Come on, Julian, we'll be late. Hmm. Hi, servant. Did you clean my boots? They fell into the mud. An unfortunate accident. You think you're smart, do you? You know what this is? <laughs> <gasps> the ring of a jerk? It's your nightmare. I offered you the opportunity to survive in here. But since you don't know how to behave, I'm gonna snuff you like hmm. a bug. You there, hmm? huh? What are you doing in the hall? Get to where you have to go. Class is about to begin. Of course, sir. We're coming. It's not over for you, servant. You should have cleaned those boots. Huh? Now they're never going to leave us alone. Calm down. They're only after me. What? I read what three chapters on? last what? night. I didn't get any of it. Last night? Oh, that was tough. didn't make any oh. sense. Hmm. Hmm. Stand up. Get up on your desks, please. What do you think he means, get on top of what do you think he means by that? Why would I no, want to get up on the desk? Hopefully that doesn't make out. sense. This like is this tough. Class. Are you deaf? I said climb on your desk. Huh? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How does the classroom seem from up there? It's different. You're right, O'Hara. You have to learn to look at things from different angles, especially when you think your understanding of things is right. Imagine that this classroom is India. The Indians see it from one perspective, but the British see it from another. Of course. We see it from the roof, and the Indians see it from the floor while they're cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> that was an extremely interesting observation on your part, Mix. Any other comments? That could be true. But I'll bet falling from the roof hurts a lot more than falling from the floor. <laughs> Congratulations, O'Hara. Good observation. He said the next lesson will be in the garden. Anything. Can you believe that? Huh? He's incapable. Certain people should not be allowed to teach. Now that I think about it, you're right, Mix. He is incapable. You're right. He's an idiot. <sighs> Be assured, Mr. Mix, it will not happen again. I sincerely hope so, Mr. Headmaster. You're looking very lovely today, Mrs. Mix. I wish you a good afternoon, Mr. Mix. Goodbye. Please offer my regards to the Governor. Certainly, certainly, Headmaster. Professor Keaton, I remind you, this school has a tradition to honor. Well, I've tried to honor that tradition by motivating the boys, and I think I've succeeded. We are forging an elite, and our teachers should behave accordingly. If you want to keep teaching at this college, I recommend you do not go off track, but stick to the curriculum. Yes, sir. I understand, Mr. Headmaster. So we have that geography test on England today? Good morning, boys. Good morning, Professor Keaton. Are we going to the garden today? No. Today, just open your textbooks. Hmm? <sighs> <laughs> Seven times eight is 56. Seven times nine is 63. Seven times 10 is 70. Now follow along from the top. Seven times one is seven. Seven times two is 14. Seven times three is 21. Seven times four is 28. Seven times five. Uh, 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 O'Hara, you are always interrupting are the lesson. About? Let I... me see your notebook. Mm -hmm. As I imagined, this is a complete mess. You will fill two pages with the multiples of the number seven, and I do not want to see a stray mark. Clear? <laughs> Come see. One at a time, without pushing. I want to see. As you can see, all we need is a cork, a magnetic needle, and a basin. As a result, we get a... <laughs> O'Hara, you're a disruption in this class. Can you count to six, O'Hara? Start! One! So, Kim, leave me alone, Julian. Listen, I think you should go immediately to Mix and apologize to him. Are you crazy? Never! 
Do you know who those three boys are? Yes, they're idiots. They're Skulls, and Mix is their leader. Skulls? What? They belong to a secret society. Only children of the most powerful men in the kingdom can enter. And you're interested in being in that group? No, of course I don't. And anyway, they would never let me in. And you'd like that, wouldn't you? You're being naive, Kim. If you don't stop this, they're never gonna leave you alone. I just hope they don't pick on me, too. I have nothing to do with it. That was a tough question. I don't know, what did you put down? <laughs> Oops. No. Oh, oh, no. Huh? Huh? No. Huh? 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 Oh. Huh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Come in. Good evening, Mr. Keaton. Come, O'Hara, sit down. Thanks, I prefer to be standing. You called me? Yes. I am worried, O'Hara. It seems you're having a little difficulty settling into school life. Difficulties? No, not at all. Only those that a fish has to breathe out of water. You are an intelligent and honest boy, O'Hara. I am certain that you'll be able to make some friends in here. I really don't think so. Everybody hates me. You know, O'Hara, when I was young, I was quite good at rowing. I won different cups, but the best victory came when one of our teammates broke an oar. At that point, we had to pick up the number of strokes per minute, and that's exactly how we won the race. That's a great story. Achieving results after having overcome great difficulties can give one immense satisfaction. Perhaps. But there you had an opportunity. I don't have one here. Hmm. I think we should stage a race. Yes, sir. At Cambridge, where I graduated, every year we would hold a race along the whole perimeter of the building, a tradition that has been perpetuated for 700 years. And you would like to introduce it to St. Severio? Would I? You bet I would, Headmaster. This will be a great way for us to affirm our culture. Hmm. Gentlemen, I've gathered you here to announce some important news. In the tradition of the most prestigious of British colleges, I have decided to hold a race competition. Mm. It will stimulate yes. a sense of loyalty and competition. <laughs> the registration for the competition is now open. Take your places. Wow, I, am so I can't believe we can run up this little race. Lonsdale. Mix. McLean. Tiny. Tiny, you too? Sport is an occasion in which other human beings push us to excel, sir. Very well, very well. Next. O'Hara. Gentlemen, I want you to understand the course the race will follow. It begins here and ends at the front door of the school. As you know, three miles from here, there's a bridge on the Ganges. You must cross it and then return back. Professor Morris is already there to check. Boys, are you ready? Attention, if anyone starts before my go, he will be disqualified and forced to watch from the sidelines. On your mark, get set. Go! <laughs> O'Hara! <laughs> O'Hara, are you hurt? No, I don't think so. What rotten luck. Don't worry, Your professor. shoe is broken. I don't need shoes anyway. Ah. Hey, Julian, if you pretend to have bandits behind you, you'll run faster. Keep going. Dad, I'm gonna catch you. I'll show him. Huh? 
Aren't you tired, Mix? I'm not, but soon enough you'll be. O'Hara, what a surprise. It looks like you're the first one, and you have quite a lead. Good. <laughs> what happened? Where on earth did he go? Hey, Professor. Huh? Scratch off my name, please. All right. <laughs> Wow. You're the last one, Tiny. Hmm? But everyone's already passed. I don't understand. Watch my huh? back, Professor. Uh. Hmm. Huh? Good to win, doesn't it? It's fantastic! Evidently, there's something that you know how to do well, O'Hara. Congratulations, Kim. Hey, good job! Way to great. go! Oh, right. That's great! Okay. Professor Keaton was right. Winning in the face of adversity gives you a lot of satisfaction. Yeah, you did great. But you grew up running through these jungles. You had an advantage over the rest of us. Who's this us? Do you know what your English friends did to try to stop me? Well, sure. How else were they going to expect to win? That's for sure. I'm much faster. Huh? Hey, McLean. You're wanted at the headmaster's office. Why's that? A letter from your parents arrived for you. Huh? Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> huh? Hi, McLean. Well, what do you want from me, Mix? Mm. You know who we are, right? Yes. <laughs> you know our slogan, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> the skulls above all. You want to join? I've heard it's very difficult. You're right about that, but it could be made a little easier for you. Listen carefully. More than two centuries ago, the history of England began to entwine with that of India. Two very different people came together on the same land and learned to coexist with the... Professor Keaton! What happened? Something terrible's happened. In your room. It's a disaster. Uh, wow. What happened? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh. Who could have oh. done this? I don't know, but somebody oh. did it during the break when we were in the courtyard. Oh. All my figurines. Oh. All my books destroyed. Oh. Why? The vandal might have left a clue. Is there anything in here that doesn't belong to you, Professor? I... I don't know. But... I think I <sighs> might have found something. <sighs> no, that can't be true. It's O'Hara's medal. It was him. There's your vandal right there. <gasps> huh? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty, stinking liar! Take that back! What are you doing? Right now! I'm warning you! Get off! And of course, you helped him! You're with them because you're scared! Are you feeling strong now? Did you see that savage? He tried to strangle me! Hmm. <laughs> I can't believe that it was O'Hara, Mr. Headmaster. Professor Keaton, you've always had a weak spot for that small Indian rebel. I'm being impartial I've noted here. the evidence against him. I'm certain there's an explanation. Enough! I've made my decision, and I have absolutely no intention of changing my mind. He's expelled? Yes, and with immediate effect. Ugh. Hey, McLean. 
See this? It's for you. Huh? Oh. Now that you're a skull, you've earned it. Hmm. Go away, Indian. Go away, Indian boy. Get out of here. <sighs> O'Hara, wait! Hmm? This is yours. You should take it with you. Give it to Julian McLean. He wanted it so much he stole it. Huh. Now I can breathe. That mud affected the air, right? Kim, hang on. Huh? Headmaster, sir, it wasn't him. What's that? It's all my fault. Mix forced me to steal O'Hara's medal. I didn't know he was going to use it to get him expelled. Be careful, McLean. My father will crush you like a bug. I don't care about your father. And I don't care about this either, Mix. You can take huh? it back. I don't want to be a skull. I don't want to lie. Or betray my friends. That's Way to go, great. McLean. Oh, that's man. how you tell him. Stop immediately, McLean. You cannot accuse a classmate like that. In any case, it is your word against his. The Mix family is well respected by the Crown. Further, McLean is telling the truth. It was all Mix's idea. Be oh. careful what you say. Oh. Mix is blackmailing a bunch of us at Esther Stop. Ted, you're in trouble. Blackmail? And who are those like you? He blackmails the kids whose parents work for his father. He says if we don't do what he says, he'll get them all fired. He is like that. It's the truth, Mr. Headmaster. He forced me to beat Tiny because Tiny didn't want to do his homework for him anymore. It's true. He forced me to sabotage O'Hara's run. I simply can't believe this. Mix! They're lying, Mr. Headmaster. It's a conspiracy. My father will destroy you and your families, too. You're all a <laughs> bunch of sheep. You're gonna pay Mr. for Headmaster. this! This is an outrage! Oh, what a mess this is! I'm sorry, Mr. Mix. I am offended by this situation. It's unacceptable. You are an idiot, Mr. Headmaster. I'll be writing to Her Majesty to insist of your transfer. To Africa! You'll do as you please, I'm sure. But one thing is certain. Your child will have to study privately because he has been expelled from all the schools in the kingdom! Shame on you. You will regret this. Duty, discipline, and decorum of the three Ds that we've been proclaiming with pride for more than 30 years. I have no intention of allowing your child to add dishonor as a fourth D. You... You... Now, if you two will excuse me, I have the obligation of returning to my students. Kim! What are you doing? Come on, hurry up or we're gonna be late! I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ever gonna stop polishing that metal? It's all envy. If I grew up in the jungle, I totally would have won it. And you're a softie yeah. like all Englishmen. Don't let Keaton hear ya. Today, the lesson is on the challenges of humanity. You mean like you and I becoming friends? Well, that's not difficult. It's impossible. Ah, here Excuse you are. us. Inseparable as always, and both late. Excuse us, Professor. No, it's, it's all my, my fault. fault. No, mine. I'm telling you, it's my fault. Enough. Stop it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. His big blue eyes survey the scene He trusts no one, the streets are mean But his world that's called Lahore Is what his freedom means and more The woman who brought up the boy Around his neck she put a toy An amulet to help him find the truth But it's hiding 